everyone, and welcome to the first episode of the Character Retrospective. The show where I talk about characters that I generally love to watch by their personality, by their interesting faces, by their voice acting, and so on. And to start the series off, we're gonna talk about none other than Ron. What can I say about this character? One thing, he's so hard not to love. I mean, look at him, look at him, look at him. He's so handsome. But he also has a really great personality, a really cool basis, and a really, really great show. Which is actually my favorite show, by the way. Anyways, with all that being said, let's get driving into one of the best characters ever. Brum is described as a small yellow vintage car who lives in a motor museum, which is actually the Cotswolds Motor Museum in real life. He sneaks out of the museum and goes off to a town called Big Town, which is actually Birmingham in real life. Brum often chases down baddies around the town when they steal stuff. Most of the time, it's very valuable stuff, and Brum manages to get them. When Brum isn't chasing down buddies, he does some simple stuff, like going to the beach, going ice skating, and more. Now then, Brum's voice. Honestly, in the original show, Brum didn't really have a voice. I mean, I know Toy Wilcox did play as Brum, even though that's technically a normal voice, but Brum didn't have a voice actor in the original show. So, I'll only be counting the fan-made ones. These include me and MickeyFan909. Let's start with MickeyFan909. I think he does a really good job playing as the character, honestly. He uses great line delivery, great vocal range, and of course, a really great pitch. Ooh! That sounds fantastic! Okay, now on to myself. Honestly, I think I do a good job playing as him. Sure, I do think some people think that Mickey Fan does a better job than me, but at least it's not high pitched and annoying. But let me tell you this the Cartoon Manius, yes, THE Cartoon Manius, has asked me to voice Brom in his series, The Many Adventures of Thomas and His Friends. I did the lines, which you can feel and he really liked my line deliveries and i'm proud of that and i just can't wait to hear the audio when it's finished of course after thinking for brown's best role in this show i decided to go for the season one episode wheels brum is just amazing in this episode basically Brum spots a legless boy going for a ride on his wheelchair. Then they go to the kart racing place, and the boy wishes he could race with the other racers. And what does Brum do? Brum here thinks you could race one of these, said the man. How can you not feel proud of Brum for making the boy's dream come true? Oh, but it gets better. The boy gets to be in the next race and is so far in the lead, but it gets even more better. After being in the lead for the final lap, he wins the race. That right there made me feel really proud of Brum of what he did. He made the boy's dream come true and made it even better by him winning the race. Now that was amazing. No wonder many people consider this as the best Brum episode out of season 1, or even the whole Brum franchise. And for worst roles in the series? Well, I don't think there's an episode where Brum's unlikable. So I guess that's a smooth sailing for Brum, in my opinion anyway. Brom is an amazing character that I really like to watch. 
Sure, he's not a well-known character like Thomas, but he's still a really nice, underrated character. He has a great personality, great roles, and an amazing show. What an amazing way to start off the series.